Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krieger, and this is Alpha Bravo. And in this episode, we'll be covering the Beast Wars Predacons, starting with the universe's chew toy, Waspinator. This guy was the comic relief that made a habit of getting himself blown to bits, winding up being left on Earth when everyone else went to Cybertron, only to follow them when the humans turned on him. He became thrust in Beast Machines, but that's another episode. In the IDW comics, he was a bot with a unique ability to control Titans with a stinger. For the toys, we have the Machine Wars Thundercracker for the BotCon recolor. Doing triple duty for it is the original for itself, TFCC Thrustinator, and the Animated. The Animated is about half a head taller, but the original is close enough. First, we'll remove all the ones that don't match the cartoon or IDW, which are the same appearance. So, the Transmetal, the BotCon, the Impossible Toys, Thrustinator, the animated, and the original are out. By the scale chart, he should be a head shorter than Primal, so the T-30 gun is out. So the winner is the T-30 Deluxe. We're supposed to get a new one for Kingdom, but the T-30 Deluxe will be hard to beat. Next we're looking at the twisted evil genius Tarantulas. He was a Tropeticus Council spy in Megatron's ranks that loved to experiment and eat his fellow Cybertronians. He met his end when his experiment on Tigerhawk blew up in his face. In IDW, he was the twisted scientist that created Springer and fell to Overlord. Our recolor stand-ins are Beast Wars Black Arachnia for the Beast Wars and Generations Junk Heap for the TFCC. First, we'll remove the non-IDW cartoon. So the TFCC and the BotCon are out. We're left with the original and the Transmetal. These are all you really have for each incarnation. The IDW was kind of a hairy cross between the two, so the winners are the original for the base form and the transmetal for the transmetal. Now we have Pterosaur. This was the flying henchman of Megatron that wound up dropped in lava. For him, we have the original and the Botcon. I couldn't find a good size comparison for the transmetal, but it was a deluxe, so I'm going to say it's around the Botcon size. It's going to get eliminated anyway since it never appeared in the cartoon or IDW. So we're left with these two. By the scale chart, he should be a smidge taller than Primal. Neither one really makes it, but the BotCon is the tallest, so it wins. So the winner, even without a beast mode, is the BotCon. We are rumored to get a new one for Kingdom, but as of this recording, we don't have any images. Next we have Scorponok, the ground-based henchman of Megatron that was left in the lava. We got the original, or what's left of them, the McDonald's, the BotCon, and I'm throwing in the RID 2015 Paralon because he's an homage to the Beast Wars. For cartoon IDW appearance, they're all out. <laughs> but the Paralon is the closest, so it's the winner. Although Paralon is on my shelves now, we're getting a Scorponok in the next wave of Kingdom. I can't wait. I'll do an update episode when he gets in. I'll do the fast ones here. Quick Strike only has the original toy, so it wins. Rampage only has the original and the BotCon retool recolor of the Prime Megatron. For appearance, the original wins. For Inferno, there's only the original and the Transmetal Scavenger. Since he never appeared in the Transmetal form, the original wins. Inferno is the only one that comes close to being right for scale. Last and definitely not least is Megatron. Yes. He was the rogue Predacon that stole the golden disc to go in the past to murder Optimus Prime. Later, he took over Cybertron and Beast Machines. In IDW, he was one of Shockwave's maximal troops. For the toys, our height stand-ins are MP Ironhide for the fans' hobby Red Dragon, Open Play Galvatron for the perfect effect Mega Doragon, MMC Overlord for the Jing Zing Metal Beast Winged Dragon, Crossover's Maverick for the Beast Machines Mega Megatron, McDonald's Primal for the McDonald's Beast Machines, Universe Drop Shot for the BotCon, and Junker Cannonball for the Toy World Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Robot Masters Megatron. Our recolor stand-ins are the RID 2001 Megabolt for the, the Megahead Megatron, and RID 2001 Megatron for the second BotCon Megatron. And again, the MP is out because it's a larger size class. First, we'll remove all the non-IDW cartoon appearance. So the alligator and the first BotCon are out.
Next, we'll work backwards for our representations. This might take a while since we, he had so many incarnations. For the Savage Noble, we only have the original. It's the only choice, so it's the winner. For the Grand Maul or the Floating Head version, we only have the Mega Head version, so it wins. For the first Beast Machines appearance, we have the Beast Machines Mega and the McDonald's. By the scale chart, he should be around Primal's size. So the Beast Machines Mega is the winner. Next is his Transmetal 2 form. We have the Zhang Zing, the Perfect Effect, the Original, and the BotCon, and the Fans Hobby homages. By the scale chart, he should actually be a little shorter than Optimal Optimus. So the winner is the Fans Hobby. Although if you want the one that's closest to the actual scale, the Zhang Zing is the closest. But good luck finding an Optimal Optimus to match. For the Transmetal 1, we've got this pile of pieces that represents most of the original figure's condition over time, and the toy world. By the scale chart, he should be half again as tall as Primal. So the toy world is out. So we're left with this pile of parts. Just buy the Armada Predacon and paint it up to have a Transmetal 1 that doesn't fall to pieces. Finally, we're down to the base form. We have the original, the Robot Masters, the Cybertron, and the Kingdom. The Cybertron is more of a stylized version, so we'll eliminate him. By the scale chart, he should be half again as tall as Primal. So the Robot Masters is out. So we're down to the original and the Kingdom. Just by appearances, the Kingdom wins. It's got the cartoon look down pat. So the winner is the Kingdom. This is a great looking toy and it meets all the requirements. Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.